We have a little different episode for you this week. We just drove 1,800 miles. What was the final count? Like 1831 31. 31 or something <laughs> crazy from Montana to Goshen, Indiana to be at the National Grand Design Owners Rally for 2021. And we're really, really excited to be here. Now, if you haven't seen a few weeks ago, we officially announced that we became Goodwill Brand Ambassadors for Grand Design, which is so sweet. And we'll talk more about that later. But because this is our very first rally, and this is a very large rally. Huge, 600 and some <laughs> RVs. Actually, I think it's almost 700 RVs here yes, with 1,300 thir people. Yes, 1,300 yeah. people, which is crazy big. I mean, we really started big. We should have probably started with a smaller rally. Yeah, like here the there. <laughs> but we're going to bring you guys along to share what a rally looks like and what you can expect if you're headed to one too. Hey, y'all. We are Sean and Christina, and this is our therapy dog, Nash. We left our home in Nashville, Tennessee to travel the U.S. in an RV and shine a bright spotlight on the incredible work that therapy dogs do across our country. Now, like Sean said earlier, with this being the National Grand Design Owners Rally, there are six or 700 rigs here, which equates to about 1,300 people. So one thing we didn't expect was how big it was. Again, this is our first rodeo, we just didn't know. But what's been so cool is there are so many sections of so many different grand designs that are everywhere throughout these fairgrounds. We're at the Elkhart County Fairgrounds and this place is giant. And one thing that we really love are all the different sections of, of RVs, but there are also tons of different places for seminars, places to eat, there's live music at night. It has been so fun. And one thing that Grand Design did that I really love this year, each section has a, I don't know, maybe like a host, and they have kicked off the week by doing barbecues and we did a chili cook off. It has been so cool to kind of break a big space down to a smaller, smaller space feel. Not only do they have units here for us to walk through and view, but they've also done such a great job bringing in vendors throughout the RV industry. As you saw, Lippert's here, RV Airflow. There's tons of great people here that you can talk to about specific products and ask questions and buy them on the spot and even do installs while you're here. Which leads me into our next topic, which is servicing. Grand Design and Lippert and other vendors have been here doing installs and working on your rig. So if you've got something that you want to add, they can help you do that or you can do it on your own. Or if you've got something that you need to fix in your rig, Grand Design, Lippert, they're all here with techs on site, scheduling tons of time for them to come and work on your rig so that you can get that done before you set off. Once you've had a chance to get your rig worked on and everything is great there, you have tons of opportunity to learn while you're at these rallies too. Something that Grand Design has done such a good job of is setting up amazing seminars with different vendors, owners, everything. So if you've got questions on something from internet to servicing your air conditioner, you're gonna be able to find that out while you're here too. But as we know, this campground at the fairgrounds here in Elkhart is huge. And there's no way, unless you have a bike, which a lot of people brought, there's just no way you can walk it in time. So something that's been really sweet and something that Nash has really enjoyed are the golf carts, which they call goobers. Golf cart, ubers, very cute. And we're very grateful for them. Everybody has been so kind offering you tons of rides anywhere you need to go. If you know us, you know that we love to eat and we love to socialize. And Grand Design has done such a good job here at this national rally, checking both of those boxes. For dinners, they've have had everything from food trucks to roasted pigs for pork sandwiches. It has been such a good job. They've catered breakfast and dinners, but lunches you're on your own because so many people are in so many different spots and it's just easier. But they've also done amazing nightly entertainment. They've had bingo, live music, casino night. You will not be bored while you're here. And it has been so fun just to do those activities, but to also meet great people that you wouldn't have connected with otherwise while you're doing them. If you're an RVer, you probably are like Sean and I, and one thing that we love to do is see new models. And so we love to walk through units and see all the different ways they arrange things and organize things. It's truly one of our favorite things to do now. Now we're not gonna give you detailed walkthroughs. There's tons of other places you can find those, but we're gonna go through some of the model units now and show you some of our favorite features. Okay, so the first step, I'm pretty sure this is a travel trailer toy hauler. 
actually know that. And this is so unique and so different from anything that we have been in. And something that I'm really surprised by is the amazing amount of counters and counters and cabinets that there are in here, which I'm pretty sure they have more than we have. And I love the countertops. This is just so cool. I think this shows how different RVs can be used as tools because this is awesome for someone who needs this. We are walking into the Imagine Travel Trailer, which is like the little sister of our reflection. And come on in. <laughs> I feel like this is always cribs, not in my own house. Okay, I love this. You'll see it's a little bit more compact. I feel like this would be really great for weekend use. They definitely don't have as much storage, but it's still so functional. There's bunks, great seating, great table space. I mean, this is super wonderful. And a door on the side if you need a quick exit. Oops. <laughs> I can't quick exit. <laughs> Next up, we are in one of the Grand Design Solitudes, and this is a fifth wheel, and we're really excited because this specific unit has a front living room, and we have wanted to see that because that's obviously so different than what we have. So, we love this because look at how much space this is to entertain. You could have all of your friends over, you could have all the puppies, and everybody could play. And what I really love about this unit is that the TV is on a televator. So it goes up and down from right here, and if you're not watching it, it doesn't have to obstruct your view from anything, and this thing has max window space. Oh, look at all this pantry storage. That's bigger than our pantry was in our house. I like that they're starting to add drawers too because there's nothing worse than having a giant pantry and having to put your whole body in to grab something. Now we have the Reflection Travel Trailer and of course there are so many different types of floor plans and units but this is just one and it's really cool because this is a completely different layout than we've seen yet and I love how much living space there is. Kitchen and living space are the most important. I would have a small bedroom and bathroom any day to have more living space. But look at this, there's even an ottoman. I love this. I wonder if there's storage in it. Oh, yep. That was very Indiana of me with my oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something that we absolutely love about fifth wheels that we just didn't realize until we got into this space was ceiling height. In our travel trailer, our ceilings only go a little bit above our slides. So this just makes it feel so much more open and airy and we really like that from the living's perspective. And I have to say for the countertops, like you still have a good amount of workspace. I do like how there's all this spot on the side of the stovetop. that's nice. Well y'all, it's the very last day of the rally and I cannot believe how quickly this week went. I truly feel like we blinked and it was over. But one thing I'm laughing about is how much Sean and I talked this week. I feel like we've talked more this week than we have in months combined, which has been so fun. We have made so many new friends, grand design owners and other families and couples that have YouTube channels, which was super awesome. We got to meet Nathan and Marissa from Less Junk More Journey along with their sweet kids, which was awesome. We even got to celebrate Nathan's birthday here, which was super fun. But we got to meet Kyle and Renee with Happily Ever Hanks and Keith and Rainey. I feel like all three of them just became some of our best friends. And we got to spend an evening with our friends Corey and Jesse from Finding Our Someday who flew in just for the rally. But <laughs> funny story too, I feel like we had more campfire jokes in a couple of nights than Sean and I have laughed in a long time too. So it was really great to meet them. Now to wrap things up, Sean and I put together three things that you should know before attending your first rally. Now a ton of RV manufacturers put these together. So just get on your website and check to see if your manufacturer has one. But you've got national owners rallies, local and regional rallies. So you probably have one coming to an area near you soon. But three things that we learned, number one, register early. Specifically, this national owners rally fills up fast. People book as soon as this year is over. So make sure to check and plan ahead. Even if you have to cancel, it's still worth having your reservation. Number two, be sure you are well rested before you come here. This is a social, social event. You will love it. And it's not something that happens all the time. So you really wanna savor the time. Sean and I like to go to bed by about 9.30 or 10 every night. And I cannot remember a night this week that we went to bed before one. So 
come well rested and make sure your fridge is stocked because once you get here, you want to enjoy everything. And on that point, that leads me to my last point, point number three, and that is come prepared. Make sure you've slept, but make sure when you get here that you've got your fridge stocked and that you've got everything that you need for the week. Do your laundry ahead of time. That way when you come and you set up, you can solely focus on being present for the rally and you don't have to worry about anything miscellaneous. You can dive into the sessions, you can dive into the campfires at night and you don't have to worry about life. So we hope you get a chance to go to a rally near you. And if you do, let us know. Or if you have been to a rally, be sure to comment below and tell us what your favorite part about these things are. We are so excited and if you are a grand design owner, we hope to see you at a rally soon.